Hey, we're recording this video after close trade Monday, 3rd of June 2013. Uh, well, that was a nice little day's trading. I uh, hope you traded it well. We had some decent range, about 19 points top to bottom, 2.1 million contracts traded. It was fast, it was a little bit jumpy and bouncy, but uh, I like it when you kind of get resolution to trades really quickly. Uh, and then at the end of the day, I kind of read stories saying, you know, massive reversal day, surprisingly weak ISM manufacturing numbers. Really, I don't know what they're trying to tell you. Um, maybe to jump into the market now, the sell-off's over. Um, I don't think it's over. Uh, let me just run through my chart. So today, 2.1 million contracts traded. Again, top to bottom, about 19 points, which was decent. Um, and then this is what's happening in terms of bonds and equities. We've kind of topped out. We overbought in equities, oversold in bonds. And we're starting to kind of reverse that pattern. So I think we're still going to get continuation of weakness in equities. And this is what I'm looking for. Now we've got a line in the sand, basically, which is today's low down at the 1620s, 1625 type level. Uh, you know, a break below that would be would take us into a really nice kind of strong trending move. Um, on the daily chart, I'm looking the next you know, support level down will be when we get cyclical support with better sine wave when these two kind of cross over and we get uh, price confirmation. A cyclical move in the highest time frame uh, often lines up with a trend move in the lowest time frame. So I'm looking for a break into a downtrend, continuation of a break into the downtrend, proper break in on the 45 minute chart uh, to give us pullback to end of trend. So we got, you know, we got us on, on the upside in terms of marking this top. Uh, now want to see a break to the downside, uh, marking that kind of end of trend on the way down. So these these kind of areas now around 1625 are absolutely key. As soon as, soon as those kind of go, there'll be people that have been suckered into kind of getting into positions uh, tomorrow uh, that'll all of a sudden they'll be in a, a world of hurt. So let's see on the 40,500 tip bar chart again. We'd had our exhaustion buying bearish divergence right on the zero line. So you wait for the flush. Uh, pattern and that kind of marked our top up here between you know 65 and 85 kind of here and now we've we've broken into a downtrend on the uh, 40,500 tip bar chart with this strong kind of move down we need to see exhaustion selling on the downside um, and this will form a pullback and a downtrend soon we're below support so tomorrow's activity I think in the morning I think we'll have a little bit of continuation strength and then we'll roll over and possibly go down either uh, tomorrow or the next day and kind of break through this 25 level on the way down. But today was you know, really important in terms of a, a basic kind of principle. And because we've been in such a strong uptrend since, since December, we've been seeing this mainly on the upside. But the reverse is true on the downside. It's kind of a, a mirror kind of pattern. After you get a really strong trending day, look for an exhaustion the following day during the full liquidity of the day. So this is Friday, 1500 tip bar chart. This is Friday's activity. You know, in the last you know hour or so, we just collapsed through the uh, 40 level and just went bang. Now here's all our exhaustion patterns, bearish divergence, pullback to end of trends, all of those good things happening in order to try and find a bottom. But we're looking for an exhaustion pattern during the full liquidity of the next trading day. This is the overnight session, Sunday night into uh, Monday morning. And look, look what was going on. You know, pre-open we had exhaustion buying, then we had an exhaustion buying signal. This was a short covering rally. You can see the professionals weren't picking it up down here. We had a short covering rally that was really strong. And then we kind of went to new lows. Professionals still not coming in at these lows, and yet you know this is where the professionals are active. They're active here. You can see these bars all these blue professional bars at the highs, up into the highs, testing up and getting short quickly at a pullback to end of trend. So we've got exhaustion buying, we've got another exhaustion buying, bearish divergence, and you can see the momentum patterns kind of rolling over. And then that's when we get the break. So then we get a break to the downside, and that's when we put in our low exhaustion selling on the downside. So, you know, we had the previous on the Friday, we had our really strong trending move down. Look for continuation the next day, and I always say, you know, it's it's not 100%, but three out of four days you'll see this. And coming into this pattern, yeah, you know, if you weren't using a momentum or volume type indicator, all your moving averages and everything would have would have rolled over. But we knew that this bottom was not in because we hadn't seen blue professional bars and we hadn't seen exhaustion selling. When do you see those? There's the exhaustion selling, bullish divergence, blue professional bars coming at the lows. Bingo, yeah, you know, uh, marks the low. This bullish, uh, first bullish divergence right on the zero line, so waiting for a flush pattern, and then nice little push down. Blue professional bars testing into those lows, and then we're away to the upside. And there, at the end of today, we've got kind of exhaustion buying, 
uh, unbearish divergence. I still think we'll get some continuation tomorrow, um, you know, in the first part of the day, as people are kind of suckered in. Um, and so we might have a similar kind of thing tomorrow where we have you know, to wait for exhaustion buying during the full liquidity of the day before it kind of rolls around. Whether it rolls around tomorrow or the next day, kind of don't know, but uh, I still think we're going to head through these lows down in the mid-20s. So as soon as that starts to happen, it's going to get interesting. But there we go. So it's a classic, you know, the bottom was not in. Look at all these lows. No blue professional bars. No exhaustion selling. You know, it's not until we see the exhaustion selling and the blue professional bars coming at the lows that the low is marked. So it's a classic. So uh, I must admit, I had a really nice day. And out of this move, I pulled out six points, which is always nice. There was there was more in it, uh, but that's not kind of my style. I'd already got quite a few under the belt uh, coming into that trade. So I was very happy with that. So uh, I'll tag on that one. And I uh, hope you had a good day's trading. 32.50. Short 32.50. Doing more stops and targets. And the reason for getting short, just a pullback to end of trend golf really fast and jumpy today and uh, we've had all these exhaustion buying signals bang exhaustion that was a short covering rally this one we put in here we've been rolling over bearish divergence and we just sold off really hard down this blue professional bar kept on going found support and another little blue professional bar kind of comes in and just breaking the lows of that so Rambo pattern here so uh, the question is, is this downtrend over? It's kind of really weird. Normally we get some kind of exhaustion selling uh, during the full liquidity of data, bottom this thing out, but we didn't really get much of anything. Uh, this blue freshman bar on 1500 and that was it. So now we're heading back down for it. I'm just going to move my target out the way, move it to 2650, uh, just because if this does run, uh, all of a sudden, everybody's kind of positioned the wrong way. Downtrend on 500, we're coming to support on 15. We've got no blue professional bars kind of jumped in yet. So let's wait and see what happens next. Here we go, we just had a test back up. Uh, out up bar though, um, support becomes resistance, kind of bouncing off that. There's a blue professional bar coming here. It's only bullish divergence close to zero line so we're going to see at least a flush but we've got to put in pullback to end of trend no blue professional bars kind of come in so let's break back down Here we go got the breakdown to 30s 29s no blue professional bars come in we're still in a downtrend got to see pullback to end of trend potentially into a bigger move on 1500 as well so this targets at 26 so ways away but uh, we haven't seen anything to merge this kind of exhaustion bar in the levels up here with you know, almost 13,000. So it's changing trend with this move. This is going to continue. Right, it's collapsing. It's just gone a little bit parabolic. Original target's 28 and a half. Just about to hit it, and it's not a super big reading yet on better momentum. No blue professional bars kind of come in. So all of a sudden everybody's realizing that was a change in trend. We've got Rambo to Rambo kind of channel. The low on Friday was six and a quarter. What did we get down today? Five and a quarter. So sitting at six and a half. But let's just hold on. Now in 27s, looking for six and a half. Okay, blue professional bar coming on 500. Still not seeing pullback to end of trend. It's funny, this has not been a really uh, solid reading and better momentum yet. We've got one here on 4500. So just <laughs> come on. Uh, 2650. Excellent. For six. Good. Not done one of those in a while. And a bunch of blue professional bars coming on the 500 tip chart. Nothing on 15 yet. Just got us put in pullback to end of trend. Uh, and we got this kind of exhaustion pan here. That's fine. Done, done, done. Good day. Excellent.